Well, Donovan had his first Jeep event today. We took him to the Jeep Babes Michigan chapter uh, April meetup. Um, as usual, he did all right. He's a good kid. So next weekend we have the blessing of the Jeeps up in Mesick. So that'll be a little bit of a longer drive for him. But we've got, you know, he's only a month old. So we weren't gonna do the camping thing yet. Um, plus you can never tell late April, early May what the weather's gonna be like. Um, so I got an Airbnb. Um, you know, my dad's coming to stay with us and then uh, my cousin Tammy might be coming too. Um, but today, you know, after the event, I'm out here, I've got almost everything I need for my seven inch CJ headlight conversion, except I'm going with uh, just some projector beam LEDs. Um, but kind of going classic. I still gotta find the Rhino gr grill, which is hard to do, but um, you know, I got the adapter conversion plate from BJ's and I wasn't sure how it was gonna go and I haven't seen any videos online for it. So I'm kind of out here just piecing everything together. This is what's screwing me up. I only got one of these retainer rings. I thought they sold as a pair. So I'm waiting on the, the second one, like an idiot. Uh, and I was like kind of torn between keeping this chrome, which is just probably a really shitty chrome, or sanding it down and painting it satin black. Because I think that's what I'm going to do with the grill anyways. Um, but yeah, this is what I've got so far. CJ5 slash 7 buckets, BJ's off-road conversion plate, the headlights, the retaining ring, and then the trim ring. So hopefully in another couple days, those bad boys will be gone. I did end up getting the seat belt mounted for the kiddo. Just a simple Speedway lap belt. Mounting it to the inside two bolts for where the female end of these will go. I had the boys at work torching on these and they were not coming they torched both sides of them and they just were not going to come out so um i'm going to clean the seat it's kind of dingy looking i mean i don't know how much of this i'm going to keep original anyways i kind of want to freshen up the interior i mean the dash for the most part i'm going to keep all original but i might go with digital gauges uh I'm not, i was never into that with the hot rod stuff but um i think it might kind of look cool they've got some I mean, it looks like the old speak and spell, you know, the shitty calculator numbers. So I might go that route. Um, and then I'm just waiting on one more bracket to get this hood latch. I gotta get screws to mount in there yet, but um, I'm still using a screwdriver. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of torn on um, the direction to take on this, you know? I wanna keep it true to itself, but at the same time, you know, I, I like some of the cheesy 80s shit that I grew up with, you know, the KC highlights with the smiley face covers. Um, but, and I, you know, my interests have always been rooted in 50s hot rod too. So I'm thinking about like, you know, Stuart Warner gauges or um, some moon equipment, like a moon equipment tack or a sun tack. Um, functionality wise I do have one oil leak that I can see and I hope it's an oil pan the, the original owner told me it was an oil pan but I'm terrified that it's a rear main seal I haven't been on there to, under there to look I've got the fuel pressure regulator mounted to the firewall but I wanted to get it mechanically running okay before I start changing fuel lines out and then I got a Holly mechanical fuel pump to replace the Amazon special that the original owner put on here. But like the timing um, and the carburetor, I've almost got solid, you know. So running and driving, it's okay. I've got heat in it. I discovered that this last week. Um, I just turned it on to see what would happen and I've got a heater. It's not awesome. And then I've got an exhaust leak. 
but other than that, I mean, mechanically it seems okay. So we'll see. Um, headlights hopefully next week. Blessing of the Jeeps next weekend. Um, that'll be the Baby D's first big event. And then uh, I got to get rear the rear mounts for the driver and passenger seat kind of locked down. They're a little scary. <laughs>